So when you've seen as many samurai movies as I have, a lot of them all start to feel the same. But nothing has been as refreshing nor as emotionally engaging as Shuhi Fujisawa's works. Having written some of the greatest samurai films like the Twilight Samurai Trilogy or At River's Edge, Fujisawa is an expert at taking the Japanese feudal era and just adding all the drama that went along with it. Not only that, but he writes these characters that you actually care about, so when the big dramatic moments happen, you actually feel it. And this movie offers all this and more. So first off, I want to say that I received this movie from SamuraiDVD.com for the purpose of review. As far as I know, it's the only place to get this film. SamuraiDVD.com is basically a one-stop shopping for lovers of samurai cinema. It has both classic and brand new films. Each movie has excellent picture quality and excellent subtitle translations. And the best part about the site is most of these movies you really won't find anywhere else. He even has an entire Shuhi Fujisawa section, so all those movies are great. I've almost seen all of them. So go check out SamuraiDVD.com. Dual Tale is a TV movie that released in 2015. It was directed by Shigemichi Sugita. It stars the legendary Japanese actor Tetsuya Nakadai. It also features Miyako Harada, who played the unforgettable Lady Kaede in Ran. So in this film, Nakadai plays an older man that goes by the name of Shoji Sanosuke. This is basically Nakadai's Unforgiven. Kill just about everything who walks or crawled at one time or another. <laughs> He's a man that used to be an expert swordsman, but one day he injured his leg in a duel, and since he has given up wielding the sword. But now suddenly, certain events bring him back to once again picking up the sword. This film is sort of a tribute to the actor of Tetsuya Nakadai, representing his career as a samurai film star that is once again picking up his sword. So right in the beginning, the movie tells us the definition of the word Heya Zumi. Stating that during the Edo time period, all men that were born in a family of low-ranking samurai had no choice but to marry into another family. If he fails to do so, the only way left for him is to become a Heiazumi, and this means living the rest of his life as a freeloader. That's unfortunately what Tetsuya Nakadai's character is in this film. In the film, Sanosuke has one last chance to help his grandniece escape from this cruel samurai of an arranged marriage. Nakadai will then prove that he still has it, especially when fate forces him into a deadly duel. So even though this is a television movie, it feels nothing like one. If this is the kind of movies that Japan considers straight-to-TV movies, then I'm jealous. It's well shot, well acted, its soundtrack consists of the song Green Sleeves, plays repeatedly throughout the film, but every time it plays, it fits and it goes surprisingly well with the mood. I find that most love stories in Western movies never really do much for me, 
But for some reason, Fujisawa has always been able to make me feel something, and actually care about the people involved. This movie, for one, has a really effective love story. And there's some really tragic moments involving that, and it's for sure gonna make you feel something. Might even make you cry. The film also does a great job of showing both the beauty and ugliness of this time period. It's a film that makes you think, and I like that about it. I also like the fact that it's a rather easy to follow story, but there's some deep elements to it. So, not much more to say about this except to go out and get a copy. I think that any fan of Samurai will no doubt enjoy this. So once again, if you want to watch it, it's available on SamuraiDVD.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to become a member of my Patreon to help the channel grow. Thank you.